Hey, I got a sneak peek of uh, Dodge doing a uh, test on some new vehicles they're coming out with. I'm um, going up Parley's right now. Um, this is pretty cool. We got a brand new Cummins and a couple of these weird little uh, Ram Promaster vans. They're really tiny. Um, so they got a support vehicle and two of each of these vans. I'll see if I can catch up to them. I'm going up the most difficult part of my run, so um, here we go. They're kind of kicking my ass. See, I'm doing 60. Looks like they're all doing the same speed, so I think I can keep up with them coming up Harley's. Yeah, I'm doing 2100 RPM, so I got room to grow. So on these two lanes, there's two in each, and then the support vehicle's up there. As long as I don't let them get away from me, uh, I can catch up to them. These little vans are kicking ass. Now this is a pretty rare thing that you see. Um, so the support vehicles from Michigan, the truck and trailer registered in Michigan, but the vans are got some weird license plate I've never seen before. So if they continue on to I-80, they're going to fill up there in uh, Evanston. And if they do, I'll be able to get, uh, possibly go in and talk to them, see what they're doing. Hopefully they're doing the new uh, diesel in the Promaster. That was what I wanted to originally buy, but never saw them. All right, it's on now. Crap, they're hauling ass. Yeah, I never go this fast, but. Got a controlled um, construction zone ahead. It's one lane for a long time, so it's a major pinch point.
if I can catch up to him. They're cruising at a steady 75. God damn, everybody is. Everybody always drives 60 to 65, but tonight everybody's doing 75. <laughs> Alright, so if I see him up in Evanston, I'll shoot a video of it. Post it. Alright, I caught up to him. Alright, so it's like we got a Nevada plate on that. Oh man, they sped up again. Damn it. So everything you see here, this is all the Dodge, this is all Dodge stuff right here, all this new stuff. These are a vehicle I haven't seen yet. So you've seen this one, you've seen that, that one. And you've seen this one turning right now. What you haven't seen is this. Got a couple of them here. And you got the support truck up there. You can see the Michigan plate here with the ram and everything. So, of course, that's a big old Cummins. Hello YouTube, this is Sean. Um, I'm going to shoot a little quick video. I've tracked down uh, a set of wild rams in the wild. Um, they won't let me shoot a video of something I think was really neat. Uh, so I was actually thinking about it earlier today. Um, I was at a Ford dealership and I was driving through and uh, Ford had uh, you can tell Ford's trying to get into the uh, commercial market with us FedEx drivers and UPS drivers. And um, I was thinking, where's Ram with uh, this vehicle? And they won't let me shoot a video of them directly. Uh, I got a really good shot of them, but I'm going to tell you it's pretty neat. And um, let me show you what I, I can show the trailer and show you pictures of it. So this truck right here, this is uh, the uh, new 6.4 liter Hemi in the 2500 HD. Um, you see this trailer here. So this is a this is a peak of what these guys are driving. Uh, this is a little truck, little kind of crossover between a kind of like a car. Um, it's a little bit bigger than um, the Ford Transit. Um, it looks pretty decent. Um, I really like the styling of it. It looks Italian. It uh, looks like they're keeping a lot of the heritage with the rest of the Italian theme that Dodge is going with in their commercial market, uh, which I really like. Um, so a lot of people have been asking me about the diesel, when this diesel is going to come out in the Promaster. And I will tell you, this was the vehicle I was waiting for, uh, was that Promaster right there. Uh, I really like the Ducato. Um, it follows my family's heritage. and um, I really like the aerodynamics, the styling, and also I am, as you guys know, I'm really heavy into the CNG conversions and the CNG, and Ducato over in Ital Italy has an Italian version of this, and it is dual fuel, natural gas, or propane right from the factory. Uh, so these, Ducato really uh, goes all out when it comes to engineering, designing their vehicles, and um, uh, you know, this was my first choice, but I got tired of waiting for the diesel. And so you guys know that I bought my 
2014 Ram 1500. Uh, I am at 40,000 miles on it tonight. Um, I do have some videos that I've done on the maintenance on my 40,000 mile service. Um, but this right here, uh, this I thought was really neat. Of course, I got these guys at the Shell Station, which is the Dodge uh, fuel that they use. Um, so that's it right there. That's their trailer. So um, they're driving around right now and they're advertising this. So this is going to be available in 2015, as well as the, uh, the Ram Promaster in the Eco Diesel. So the Eco Diesel uh, in this is going to be a four cylinder. Uh, straight four, three liter eco diesel. Now, if this van right here is anything like my current pickup truck, uh, this thing should be exceeding 30 miles per gallon. The only thing that slows my eco diesel down is when I have a trailer behind it. Uh, if I if I load 4,000 pounds into my bed, which is very over limit, my fuel mileage doesn't go under 24 miles per gallon. So if you put that same engine in this running the diesel uh, I would expect you can hit at least 24 in this you know I don't know the exact numbers of it but you know this is gonna be an excellent vehicle I'm really excited for this you know I'm really excited for the future of Ram with their new vehicles so um, make some comments and tell me what you think but I was pretty excited to show you guys this and uh, keep following me on the new Ram information and new Ram news I'll see you next time.